So uh, co uh, giving continuation to the sales about the builder's automation powered by AI to respond all your Facebook messages. We have discussed about the security, uh, getting additional data. So now I'm just going to talk to you what I used to do to kind of treat all the data and to make sure to make it easy to read, understand, and maybe down the future, testing all that information, which is very important, okay? So I'm gonna share with you my screen just to show some things that I did around the, around the combine all the data, do the mapping, and why I do those information to see if it's something also that will be interesting to you, okay? So I'm gonna just share my screen and walk you through all of this, okay? So as you see here on this uh, automation flow, okay, I just want to show you, this is the node that I'm going to get additional data to empower my AI. But now this is one of the NAAN, uh, let's say, node or feature or action that I like to use because it can get all your data and combine them and then move them to the flow, okay? So right now as you see here in this data i have a data to come from the security check node and then i have a data to come from the get user info or those two those two nodes pull different data but now i'm using this node to combine them and put all the possible combination okay to provide for the next node in my workflow. So now uh, the output, what's going to be? It's going to be a combination of what I'm getting, uh, let's say what I'm getting from the from the security node check, which is basically the whatever the request that come through the webhook, we accept the header, just the body part of it. And then we have uh, this extra additional data that I'm getting from the HTTP request to get more user information. So the first treatment that I did on the data, I merged all the data together. So now the next flow can have a more rich data to, to, to do whatever you wanna do. For example, in this AI agent, so now instead of just pass the message, I have the first last name, the person who sent the message. That is very helpful. So now my AI not only is gonna help them with the rich information, but it's gonna call them by name, which is very important. Okay. There are some other information that you can try to get, but yeah, we can you can do some investigation at the API, how you can get external data that can help you understand uh, your user. Uh, what they are, if they are fall or not fall, or all those kind of information. If it comes to the point that it's very important for the what I'm trying to do, I will build API to get that as well. Okay. So the next thing, the next thing here, this is another merging that I'm doing here because because I pass all the data that output that come from the mapping data. Actually, the mapping data also it's very important because look at this how, how this data look like with a lot of fields that I don't need, but also the name it might be difficult. I want to get something simple. This is the output I'm getting. I do the mapping, first name, last name, Facebook, sender, recipient, e message, test. So just make your data clean. I don't know, for some reason, I like to have things very well organized. That's why I do the mapping, which is basically, you have a large input, you mapping what's gonna get out an output. You create all the your output and you put the value that those output is gonna carry on. That's why now, when I come to this, Look, what is the input? Input is just something more clean, more useful, okay? So now, so now my AI agent that I built here, probably it's not a fork on this video to talk a lot about the AI agent because I haven't done this uh, into the couple of videos, okay? But all this AI is doing is receive this input, name of the person who sent the message and the actual message, and this AI has instruction to talk to them and help them about the service that I provide. Very simple. Also, I have a simple memory that I use here that the N8 gave us out of the box. And this memory is gonna memorize the person by the user ID and they can remember at least 100 last conversation. That's what I put it here. And then I'm using chat GTP model, uh, GTP for mini, okay? And then all I'm doing, it's uh, like uh, I'm past the message and the model is generate the response that we need to, okay? I'm not using anything else for this for this flow. I'm just want to keep conversation with the customer 
customer okay but there's a lot of great things you can do here as this uh, animation flow proven to be very helpful i will enrich maybe collect more information, have a better memory database to keep things going, okay? And maybe I can add some external tools, which is very important, okay? So the last but not the least, I'm sending the DM to the user who sent the response, okay? Basically, this is very simply, it's all about reading Facebook API, API, how can you send a message to the users? I have done the test, look, send a message here, this is the base URL. I think I can select, for example, I think this is the one, J Consulting Tech, no, J A Alves. I think this is the one. So, well, this is your base URL, the page ID, which is the my page ID, and then the access token. In this case, you have it's very it's very important because Facebook has several access token. In this case, I can show you. You have a uh, let's say for the token, you have a user token, app token, page token. You have to know each API, which token is needed in order to proceed. For this one, in order to respond back to the user who send a message, it says I need access token. And the way that I'm built this response here, it's just what I got from the Facebook documentation, how to send a message, okay? So now this NAN, as you see here, basically it's very simple. It's whatever the API say, this is the URL how I build the URL page ID and then I got all the token here okay just to be I did the same thing with this token I did extend live so I think it's gonna expire in the next two months okay so now as part of the body I'm just a JSON body by I just pass it out the sender ID so now the sender ID become a recipient because who send the message when I'm sending a message to them, they are receiver. That's why I'm on the recipient ID and pass the sender ID. And this output is whatever the chat the, the AI generators response for that. Okay. So basically, this is one of the simple version of NAA automation flow to help you uh, uh interact with your customer it's very helpful and and then as the next step you have to make all those changes to go live and i'm gonna build a video to show you how you guys can do that okay